Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this everyday makeup look. Um, so when I just want to slap on some makeup and head out the door. I can do this look in... I'm gonna say 15 minutes, but because I was talking, obviously it's gonna take a little longer. But yeah, if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, then please stay tuned. I didn't moisturize my face yet, so I'm starting off with a clean face. I'm just gonna moisturize real quick using the Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Now that we're all moisturized, I like to use a little primer. As usual, I will be using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's honestly the best, you guys. It gets kind of tacky, so I like to like press it a little bit. But this makes my makeup stay on all day. It prevents creasing. Um, and it kind of just like hydrates the skin without like being too oily or whatever. So this stuff is bomb. The next thing I like to use is my Fenty Beauty concealer, the Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 420. And I use this as my foundation. So I kind of just cover up the areas that I want coverage in. So that's like around my mouth. And my acne scars on my cheeks. Around my nose, because I get a little redness there. And I'll take the shade 410, which is just a little bit lighter than 420, and conceal underneath my eyes. I don't put anything on my forehead as yet. Um, depending on the day, I will put concealer on my forehead, but I don't feel like I need it as much today, so. And then I just take a beauty blender and blend it out. washed all my beauty blenders and I honestly don't like super clean beauty blenders and super clean brushes I just feel like my makeup applies so much better when they're dirty but it was getting to the point where it was a little too dirty so <laughs> so then I'll just go around the edges of my concealer there And then I'll take whatever is on the beauty blender and kind of just go on my forehead. So I don't apply product straight to my forehead. I'll just do whatever was left because it doesn't really need that much covering for everyday purposes. If I was doing a full glam, full beat, I would do all that. But <laughs> So now I take the shade 370 underneath my eyes to brighten. of in that area. So I like to conceal underneath my eyes first and then I like to brighten. If I had went in straight with that bright concealer, it would have looked a little bit too bright and a little bit too ashy. Because what happens when you put a really bright concealer on directly to your face without concealing first, it can actually do the opposite effect and bring out the dark circles underneath even more. I kind of look ashy and like gray. So conceal first, then brighten. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out. And now that I'm concealing and brightening underneath my eyes, I just put that right in the center of my forehead to brighten up as well. I'll also bring it down onto, what is this part called between your lip and your nose? I feel like there's a, a word for it, but whatever. I 
And then I take whatever is left on the sponge and kind of just hit the center of my chin right there. And then I also reverse contour real quick. So nothing too dramatic, just to get that um, contour started on my cheek. Okay, now I like to set my makeup with a little translucent powder. Um, there are a couple different ones that I like to use. Um, but um, for an everyday use, I like to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'll just put that in the cap. And I like to like spread it out so it's kind of like even on the in the cap. I know these steps are a little bit extra, but I don't know. These are just, this is just the way I do it. <laughs> so I'll take my beauty blender, another beauty blender, um, and I'll just dip it in. Oop, it's kind of wet. You want to make sure that this is really, really dry, but still damp because it can really mess up your makeup. So I do one more blend underneath my eyes because I have really fine lines. So I want to make sure that I blend it out before I set it because if you don't blend it out first, it'll just set the creases that are there and nobody wants that. Um, blend out. And honestly, I just keep on looking up, like, I want no chances of creasing. <laughs> so I take my beauty blender, dip it in, and set. Again, beauty blender. So I don't tend to bake on an everyday basis. I'll just like set my makeup with a beauty blender and press it into my skin. I don't let it like sit there too long. And then I'll take some on my chin. And on that reverse contour. Now what I like to do is take a colored powder and I'll dip it in to my translucent powder a little bit. Just get enough on there. And then I'll mix it in to my powder and press it around my mouth. Now this will really prevent laugh lines and creasing around your mouth. Uh, I just like to set my mouth with a colored powder because if I were to go in just with the translucent powder, it can look a little like white around my mouth and I don't want that. So I'll take the translucent powder, mix it in with the with the colored powder, If and that goes the same way. So like if I just used the colored powder around my mouth, I would get the laugh lines because the translucent powder really locks everything in place. I hope that makes sense. But yeah. So then I just take a um, fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M401 brush. And I love this for just setting the rest of my face. So I'll dip it in the powder and I'll stamp around. Kinda, you wanna stamp first before you start swirling. Cause this is what's gonna just set everything really nicely in place. Because if you were to just start swirling, it's just gonna kind of move all that makeup that we just did underneath. So, blend it down and then start swirling. The swirling is what's gonna blend everything together, make it more airbrush looking. I take the same powder and I kind of just stop, tap, stop. <laughs> I kind of just tap on my forehead it in place because I don't want too much powder on my forehead. I don't like that look. Look at my face. Okay. All right. 
So now, a little bronzer. I like to use my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer. And the shade that I use is Coco Naughty. Well, the first shade that I use is Coco Naughty. I like to build up on my bronzers, so. The brush that I like to use for my bronzer is the Morphe M530 brush. So I just swirl it in, tap, and I make my face. Because I really want to see my cheekbone. So I just go like this. And I kind of just bring it up the side like that too. Then I'll take some on my jawline and my chin. And I'll kind of just blend out that um, Laura Mercier powder that we put there before. And definitely bronze the forehead. <laughs> Now I take that same brush. I do a really super easy contour on my nose. I don't like to do too, too much anymore. So first, I like to blend it through that brow bone area. And then you just bring it down the nose. Because I realized for everyday makeup, I don't need like a super defined contour. I kind of just like to add um, color to the center of my face because if I were to just leave it, it would have looked a little crazy. So now I'm gonna use my second shade of bronzer. I use the shade Mocha Mommy. So this is the deepest shade that they have now. And I take a Morphe M581 brush. It has a little taper to it at the top. So it really cuts that cheekbone real nice. So I just take it, swirl it. And I don't go higher with it, I don't go lower with it. I kind of just stay right in that area to give me a really chiseled look. And my nose a little Same places I put. Yeah. But with this color, I kind of just leave it in the little what are these called? Divots? Temples? No, the temple's down here, isn't it? Anyways, I don't know why I'm trying to find out these words, all these places on my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so that's what I do with that. And if I'm feeling a little bit extra, I'll take my Smashbox contour palette and I use this um, deep contour shade. Honestly, I wish they came out with it on its own because as you can see, I don't use the other two colors. But this contour shade is actually really nice to just like really cut that cheekbone and really get it defined. If I can find a brush, that would be great. So what I like to use with this part is the Morphe M504 brush. And just swirl it as usual, tap always to get the excess off. And then you see like, right there that's where i'm gonna hit it i never bring my contour um farther down because then is when it can look a little clownish oh the sun wants to come out that's nice okay anyways so i just take it and i kind of stop right um where my eyebrow stops because that's where the hollow stops if that makes sense so I just, see how that just like really made that cheekbone just pop almost a little bit more? I mean, I can see it, but. You kind of just blend it up if I need to. Cause you really just want to make a shadow with that contour. And then I'll take that same brush that we used the Mocha Mommy on and just blend it out a little bit more. Boom, boom. There we go. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Like I want this on, but those blinds are just doing too, too much. Whatever. Anyways, so that's basically it for like the base. And I'll just take whatever's left on the brush and kind of just sweep that in my eye. That's my eyeshadow for the day. Super simple, super easy. Um, and then I'll just fill in my eyebrows. You guys, I like showing my eyebrow stuff all the time on here. So, okay. So as you can see, I did my eyebrows and I put on some lashes off camera. I used the Anna Maria Lash from Alteza Beauty. But yeah, I really like these lashes because they look like lash extensions and yeah, I really like that look. So, now it's time for, oh, if I'm being a little extra again, sorry. I just like, I like the layering. I feel like the layering really like makes a difference in my makeup. So I'll take this MAC Bougie Babe eyeshadow and I take it on a, a Morphe M554 brush. So it's like a flat brush like this. And this really like hugs the cheeks really, really nicely. So I'm just, I like to put it kind of in the little like right here to really like hug my the apples of my cheeks so i'll smile a little and kind of put it on the bottoms of my cheeks there see this is how it just like hugs that i'm sorry but these things you know they help Okay, anyways, an extra, step, step, an extra step that doesn't need to happen, but you see how it just... <laughs> okay, so the next thing I like to do is a little blush. Uh, not a lot, not a lot. Oh my gosh, not a little blush, a lot of blush. I like blush. I think it makes your cheeks and everything look so cute. So I take this MAC um, cream blush in the shade Heat Index. The cream blushes that my came out with are bomb. Like, they go on top of your skin so beautifully. I wear it without makeup, with makeup, obviously. Um, and they glide on top of powders and everything really nicely. It doesn't like separate underneath or anything like that. They're super nice. So I like this shade. I have a couple of, uh, about three of the shades because they're just that good. So I'm gonna take the shade Heat Index and I just kind of swirl it around. And they have this like, they have this like squishy texture, which is really cool. You can even you, sh you can even use your fingers, but I'm just gonna use my brush and kind of pack it on there. It's a little much. And I like to take my blush a little bit higher. Now that I've done that Doja Cat video and she does her blush higher, I like to do that too. So. I just bring it up here, kind of bring it down to this one. Can't really see, but just bring it a little higher up. I think that's a lot cuter that way. I look at this face on my here. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> crease just to like blend everything together and then I take my powder brush and I kind of just blend all that through okay last step I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's the last step because it's not so <laughs> I'm gonna do my highlight now. I like to use the Zilla 
Heaven to You highlighter in the shade Bronze. As you can see, it has the same type of squishy texture as the highlight, as the blush. I really like these type of products. I think they're really, they glow, go onto the skin really smooth and really nice. So I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow brush. This is the MAC 228 brush. And I go in my inner corners to bring some light there. And then I highlight my nose, so I'll just tap it right on the ball of my nose. And then bring it on the bridge, just right up here. So I'm making like an exclamation mark. Then I'll do my face highlight. So I like to take the Morphe M501 brush and I'll take the same highlighter and just tap my chin. I kind of like to keep the highlight in the center of my face. So, and then go right on the, on that area of my forehead. If I'm feeling like it, I'll put some on my cheeks, but most days now, I don't like to put highlight on my cheeks. I just like to keep it in the center of my face. Okay, now time for the lips. I always do MAC, cork, and chestnut lip liner. Like, always. <laughs> so, I just take cork first. And kinda go over my whole lip with it. And I take chestnut to define the outside of my lip, so. I don't fill in with it, I kind of just outline. Done. And then, depending on the day I change up my lip, I'm gonna film a lip combo video, so that should be coming out soon. Um, what do I feel like doing with my lips today? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do Retro Lipstick from MAC. Take Hills of Colors Make You Blush Lip Gloss. Oh, setting sprays. Z. Look, notice how I said setting sprays. So. <laughs> The first one I like to do is MAC Fix Plus. And I drench my skin in this. And then my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And yeah, that is my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned for more videos from me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Okay, and I will see you guys in my next video.